Hey everyone, my name is Faith. I am in my fourth and final year in the Child and Youth Care program at Ryerson University. Um, and a couple of friends and I wanted to get together and make a little vlog um, to show you kind of, you know, a day in the life of a fourth year CYC student. Some of us are in placement, some of us, you know, are, are working jobs within the field, and others are just, um, you know, to and from school and um, making things work, commuting, and all things like that. Um, so for me personally, I live in Brampton, uh, so I commute every day, well, not every day, Wednesdays and Mondays to school. Today is Monday, so I'm going to take you along with me um, to Ryerson, and I will walk you through a bit of my day. Um, we'll talk about a little bit about uh, professional identity and uh, I'm going to touch on a bit of uh, self-care. That's a topic that um, has recently become very important to me. It's always been important, um, but when things come up in life and, you know, you realize that you haven't been taking care of yourself like you should be, um, it it's become a priority for me. And so um, as part of the professional identity of being a child and youth care worker um, or practitioner, um, self-care is very important and so I'm very excited to bring you along uh, with my for my day I have two classes today a break in between and I'm hoping we're gonna do it I'm gonna go to the gym that is one of the forms of self-care that I love to do I've recently picked up and I've fallen in love with it um, and then I will talk a little bit about uh, what that means and, and uh, professional identity within child and youth care and uh, self-care all right let's get started come on let's go enjoy the day thanks probably um, go and get some readings done uh, in this time frame. Um, my class I guess, starts in 45 minutes and I will connect back with you guys then um, and we will jump into my uh, gym session. I have a three hour break between my two classes on Mondays uh, which is it's, it's, a, it's a long time uh, and so I like to use that time mostly to go to the gym or if you know if I'm having a rest day I will, um, I'll usually use that time to catch up on readings and do some schoolwork, but today we are going to do some self-care and I'll go to the gym. So, um, I will connect back with everyone after my class and, uh, we'll jump right into the self-care. All right. See you guys later. So after my class, I went to the gym. I ended up vlogging only just a few seconds of my cardio and then I just got so into the zone. Um, I totally forgot to vlog um, my arm workout, um, but I was at the gym for a good hour and a half and then I went to my evening class and now I'm home and I've showered ready for bed. I will do some readings and stuff before that. Um, maybe some meditation and some stretches and yoga before I go to bed. But um, I just wanted to come on here and say that self-care was not always a priority for me. Um, before coming into this program, I didn't even know what self-care was. But now being in my fourth year, um, 
as the years have gone by, you know, we're taught about how important it is. And until, you know, you actually make time for it and you, you know, you make it a priority, you, you don't understand how important it is. Um, so now in my fourth year and after, um, you know, all that, all the uh, assignments and studying and all of those things, it's important to take care of yourself. And I think that um, self-care is pushed so hard in our field specifically because of, you know, burnout is so easy, can happen so easily um, in our field. And um, it's so important to take care of yourselves first. And I think that um, that really plays a part of our, uh, in our professional identity. Because without self-care, I mean, if we're burnt out, we're not going to be able to um, show up and, and, you know, be our best for the youth and the, the children and youth that we work with. And so I'm really making self-care a priority for myself so that I can show up every day and be the best that I can be um, for those that need me. Um, so it, it really, and I want to um, just put that message out there, you know, that self-care, um, not only does it, it, you know, it makes you feel good. Um, but it really enhances your ability to show up for others and to, you know, uh, go throughout your day, you know, you have more energy and whatever, you know, self-care isn't necessarily mean that everyone has to go to the gym. I know the gym isn't for everybody. It wasn't for me, um, until recently, but you know, whether that's taking a long walk with, you know, your dog or your loved one or, um, having a bubble bath or, you know, going to play some basketball, you know, or whatever your self-care is. Um, it's different for everybody, but whatever that is for you, please make time for that. Um, as I said, like I didn't for the longest time. And now that I have, um, I just, I feel better. I feel stronger. I have more energy and I can perform better in the field. And, um, even in school, like if, you know, I was getting burned out with all my assignments and everything, but, um, to, to know, to understand, to take that step back and to take time for yourself, it, it just helps in every aspect of your life. Um, and I just want to encourage everyone um, to, you know, make time. Please make time for yourself and uh, you will see improvements. And I don't even think this just goes for child and youth care. This goes for any and all fields and, and, any, and, and any and everyone. Um, make time for yourself. Um, it will help you personally and in terms of your professional identity and, and all of that. Um, it will really, uh, like I said, it will really help you to show up and to perform at your best uh, for those that, that, you know, count on you and rely on you. So um, thanks for watching. And I hope, you know, that you can you can take this message and, and uh, use it and um, do some good for yourself. Thanks, everyone. All right. Bye.